Scientology has little but contempt to offer victims. Scientology always blames a victim, saying they caused the harm themselves. The organization has no compassion for people without money to exchange for expensive Scientology processing. So while John Travolta was flying in and out of Haiti on Scientology public relations ministers, uh, with Scientology volunteer ministers on public relations mis mi missions, genuine and more necessary relief flights were being crowded out of the available airport and airspace. Scientology public relations cloaked that organization with an undeserved respectability. It presents false fronts and false images. However, lies and deceit distort the truth, especially in the truth-seeking process of politics, law, and justice. With the redefinition of words, Scientology glibly argues, like Alice in Wonderland, that up is down, while down is up. In 1977, the Church of Scientology was convicted of the largest ever known criminal infiltration of the entire United States government. Eleven top Scientologists went to prison. Scientologists, sorry, Scientology's current top lawyer, Kendrick Moxon, was named as an unindicted co-conspirator for providing the FBI with false handwriting exemplars and generally being part of the massive crime and conspiracy involving the burglary of dozens of government departments and offices to remove documents that were critical of the Church of Scientology and to plant electronic surveillance devices in the federal government's offices. Hundreds of thousands of pages of government documents were stolen by Scientology staff members. And the Church of Scientology's public relations response? We were merely convicted of stealing some, copy, some photocopy paper. Two years ago, another media group burst upon the international news scene. This group calls itself anonymous to try and gain protection from Scientology's psychoterror fair game policies and practices. Anonymous has further exposed the dark side of Scientology to the worldwide media. Anonymous protests against the criminal conduct and human rights abuses of the Church of Scientology and its calls upon governments around the world to investigate and prevent these crimes and abuses from continuing. And it has borrowed an old pop song from Rick Astley, which it sings to those Scientologists who are still trapped inside, unable to escape its mental and physical abuses. And unlike and like Anonymous around the world, those of us here today say to every Scientologist still within the Scientology trap, even to David Miscavige, Kendrick Moxon, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, and to every Scientologist who has been forced by the disconnection policies to desert their families, the mothers, the fathers, the sons and the daughters, the sisters and the brothers, who have not seen or spoken to their loved ones for even decades. We say, never going to give you up. Never going to let you go. And so I finally say to the, to the government of Hamburg, this wonderful work of Ms. Coberta's office must go on. And I say to the... And I say to the Australian Parliament, as it considers Senator Xenophon's call for a parliamentary inquiry into Scientology crime, fraud and abuse, do not accept the Scientology public relations cover-ups and lies. Investigate the truth and stop the abuse. Thank you. <laughs>